Hello, this is Jenny Barrage, and you are watching my weekly segment on news and insight in the gaming industry. Today, we're delving into the wonderful world of narratives, my favorite part of the game, and I'm pretty sure you feel the same way as well. In this video, we'll be exploring moral choice in video games. Although the connection is unnecessary, gamers usually connect real-world ethics into their gaming experience. In many games, ethical missions and objectives are usually placed to promote heroism in the protagonist. These missions and objectives are therefore conducted by the gamer to win the game. However, what if the game wants the gamer to kill the princess instead of save her? Well then, the gamer would most likely prioritize winning the game over what they think is unethical. Gamers therefore act as a rational agent, where the gamer is inclined to choose an action in the game with the optimal expected outcome for themselves. But where does true gamer morality come in then? Well, in my humble opinion, moral development occurs when winning an objective, a mission, or a game just isn't a priority anymore. And this moral development occurs when an ethical decision is made by choice by the gamer. And game designers know that by adding these ethical implications into their game mechanics, they're adding for a deeper narrative, and therefore a more immersed gamer. And these ethical gameplays are featured in many games like Bioshock, where the gamer has a choice between rescuing or harvesting the little sisters, Heavy Rain, where quick time events triggers the gamer to choose plot scenarios, and Dante's Inferno, where the gamer has a karma meter with a choice of punishing or absolving non-playable characters. In all these examples, the gamer can choose an ethical choice, not mainly for perks, but for simply doing the right thing. Let's talk about Bioshock though. The gamer is given the choice to either harvest or kill these children and in return use all of the atom they provide, or rescue these children and get less atom as a result. The gamer isn't given a significant reason on why they should rescue these little sisters other than a character stating that it would be worth it for the gamer eventually. It's moral gameplay like this that turns simple game mechanics into a much more deeper narrative for the gamer. So when a gamer goes against gamer rationality for the sake of ethics, it stands for a lot. Therefore, moral choice is a very great feature to have in a game's narrative. However, Dr. Miguel Sicard, a scholar in game ethics and game studies, sees this moral gameplay as anything but moral. He states that without knowing what an ethical decision would be in the long run, the gamer isn't really making an ethical decision. Sicard stated that if game design is going to afford a decision as ethical, then it has to implement consequences or rewards to the initial choices. Otherwise, players will react to the dilemmas not with a moral stance, but with their player logic focused on achieving their goals in the game experience. In my opinion, ethical choices, just like in real life, usually have very vague consequences and rewards. Therefore, just like in real life, the gamer has to use morality to decide what is best for the game storyline. Do you think that moral development occurs when a gamer makes a decision? Or do you think Sakar had a valid point, claiming that the gamer needs to know the outcome of a decision for it to be ethical? Let me know in the comments below. And remember to sign up to my mailing list where all the fun happens. I'll see you all soon. Cheers and keep on gaming.